Maker snack. Getting the springs inside the servo arms and legs is definitely the toughest part of the Biddle assembly. I spent over an hour trying to get the springs using just my fingers like Rong Zhang shows in his videos, but no luck, and lots of time spent hunting down springs that bounced around the lab. Now I also tried some of the tricks that were mentioned in the Biddle forums, like using dental floss to pull one end of the spring, but nothing seemed to work. And at the time I was doing the assembly, I also didn't have access to a 3D printer, so I couldn't build the neat spring pushing tool that Rong Zhang provides a file for in the Biddle forums. But finally, these are the steps that I'd followed that worked, and once I got this down, I was able to get in all eight springs with some effort and some sore fingers, but the steps definitely worked consistently. First, make sure to install the spring in the leg side that does not have the teeth in the servo holes facing up, so you want to make sure that those teeth holes are facing down. This will give you the most room to properly set the springs. Next, insert one end of the spring into the servo arm and make sure that the spring is aligned around the servo arm, so the spring goes over the arm and it won't slide off. Next, put a finger over the spring end that you just attached to the servo so that that end of the spring doesn't pop out. Next, use something flat and metal and sturdy to push the other side of the spring in. I use the end of these maker tweezers. You'll want to use something wide enough to get across the entire spring, so a standard screwdriver probably won't work. At least it didn't work for me. Then push the other end of the spring in as far as it'll go. Once you've done that, try to slide the edge of the spring you're pushing in, in at a bit of an angle. This would cause the spring to bulge out toward you like a slinky, but that should give you enough clearance to push the other end of the spring in. And once you've got it in, you'll feel it, push the bulging slinky bump of the spring in so that the entire spring is compressed and straight. Your fingers are going to be a bit sore, and it isn't really a task for middle school or younger kids because you need to have good finger strength and dexterity, but the technique did work once I got it down, and I was able to get the other seven in one by one by repeating these steps. Good luck, I hope this works for you and you found it helpful, and thanks to Rongzhong for making a really great project.